Welcome to the Building Classification Tool tutorial. This tool allows experts from around the world to characterize a particular building portfolio of a country by selecting a number of building classes and specifying the associated level of frequency. This information can be useful for the development of exposure models and identification of construction types for the derivation of vulnerability models. Such outcomes can be employed in earthquake risk analysis and ultimately in the development of risk reduction measures. This tutorial provides a demonstration of this process for a particular country. This tool can be accessed through the OpenQuake platform at platform.openquake.org slash building dash class. Users will be promptly asked whether they would like their contribution to be recognized in the future. This can include online information, technical reports, or peer-reviewed publications. The first step is to select the country of interest. For the purposes of this demonstration, let us choose Colombia. Then, it is necessary to specify which type of occupancy will be characterized. Let us, for example, select residential. At this point, users will be allowed to select a number of parameters to classify their building portfolio. For example, the first category is related to the main type of construction material of the lateral load resisting system. The list of possible options, as well as their hierarchy, follows closely the GEM building taxonomy, which is available on the OpenQuake website under the Resources section. Users can also use the GEM building glossary to obtain additional information about the various terms. Back to the tool. In Colombia, for example, there are masonry and concrete structures. Once these options are selected, new attributes will be displayed. Depending on the main type of construction material, the tool will provide additional options for a number of categories. For example, let us characterize a reinforced masonry structure by specifying the structural system, height, irregularities, level of ductility, type of block, type of mortar, type of reinforcement, percentage of walls, and roof or floor type. A concrete structure will have slightly different options as demonstrated here. If a user is not sure about the option for one of the categories, it is possible to simply specify unknown. It is also important to note that it is not necessary to fill in all of the categories. Users might choose to select only the most relevant attributes. For the sake of simplicity, let us do an example using only the first three categories. Let us skip to the stage in which all of the building classes have been defined. You will notice that a table with a summary of all the selected building classes is automatically generated at the bottom of the page. The only step missing is introducing the levels of frequency of each class in urban and rural areas. This information can be provided in a qualitative or quantitative manner. If a user wants to provide the absolute fraction of each building class, it is necessary to switch to quantitative frequencies using the button at the top of the page. Now it is possible to provide a number between 0 and 1 for each building class. It is important to note that the sum of the fractions per zone, urban or rural, must be equal to 1. For this example, let's use the qualitative frequencies option. In this case, users will have the option of selecting five levels of frequency. Inexistent, rare, moderately frequent, frequent, and very frequent. 
Let us now specify the levels of frequency for our list of building classes in Colombia. The last step is to save your information by using the button at the bottom of the page. This information can be accessed, visualized, and modified later. This data will be used to construct a global database of building classes with associated frequencies around the world, which will be accessible through the OpenQuake platform. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and we hope you will contribute to the Building Class Database.